Whiskey, Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I have a flask. A personal gift from the owner of the Gold Moon Distillery, Stephen Gold. Thank you very much, Stephen. So we met together at the BCB 2019 in Berlin, which is the bar convent in Berlin, which is sometimes also called the um, Bartender's Christmas. And all the people from the industry come together once a year and there's a lot of um, negotiations going on about new distribution partners and so on. This is a gunfighter and this is the 13 year old gunfighter from the Gold Moon Distillery. So this is an American straight bourbon whiskey. There's no Kentucky in it. So it comes from Tennessee because it's part of the Tennessee Orphan Whiskey Barrel Cask. And this is whiskey base number 137170, 50%. One day, Stephen said they're going to actually have a 15-year-old um, Tennessee orphan barrel as well, which I would think is very, very interesting. Golden Moon Distillery has been around since 2008. Um, Stephen Gold has been distilling whiskeys for over or spirits for over 20 years now. That's amazing. Um, he has connections also with Ireland. This bottle itself is actually a single cask, which means it's fairly rare. It's $99 in the States if you can get it. And um, what can I else? Oh, yeah, the Gold Moon Distillery is um, a distillery you can actually visit. It's in um, Golden, Colorado. So Denver, Colorado, southwest um, on the ring, basically. You can go there. Call up before a tour. They're not always giving tours, so make sure you um, uh, book in advance. They have a speakeasy. That is excellent, at least what I've heard. They make their own bitters. They make a lot of their own cocktails. Uh, they make, uh, that's just a beautiful, beautiful place to go to if you're ever in the area. So I personally have had the um, double oaked, um, double cask gunfighter. I've had the rye double oak gunfighter. There's a port um, from California port, not European port. If you take anything that's not made in the region declared for port in Portugal, you cannot call it port unless it doesn't leave your country. For example, California port, if it's sold only in California, they can still use the name. But as soon as it enters into an international trade zone, like, for example, Europe, you can no longer call it port. And they have now a brand new, um, from the Golden Moon Distillery, a single malt Colorado whiskey, which is also interesting. All right, so this was cast number 29. Very, very nice. As you know, um, or as my um, fans know, um, fans, as the viewers of my channel know, I love tasting whiskey and comparing whiskey. So what I'm going to do is take another Colorado whiskey. It's Tennessee, I know, but I don't have any dickel back there. Um, and this is actually a um, single barrel from Breckenridge Bourbon Whiskey, Colorado. And their claim to fame is distilled at... 9,500 um, feet. So I won this through an auction. Um, UK site. Usually the normal Breckenridge is actually available even at Amazon over here in Germany, but the single barrel, single barrel number one, not. This was something special. All right, so let's smell this. Okay, yes, that's Dickel. <laughs> I've had so many diff different independently bottled t Tennessee whiskeys, and they all come from Dickel. Um, Corsair, not really. Jack Daniels, sorry, not going to happen. Dickel um, has given up and have, um, will I continue to give up a lot of their casks. Now, um, this is a 13-year-old orphan Tennessee barrel. Nice. I didn't realize the 13 years old on the nose. I'm going to see if I can recognize how old it is on the palate. If you would have said it's six or eight years old, I would have went probably, okay, could be. Um, all I get, and this is really my problem with Tickle Whiskey, is it's very, very, very the opposite of complex. It's somewhat singular. So I basically have like three notes there. I have um, the buttered popcorn, and that's like 80% of the entire taste, buttered popcorn. And then you have a little bit of the oak come in there, and you have a little bit of the alcohol come in there. And there is not much, much complexity. It's like this the entire time. At the end, there's a tiny little bit of sweetness that goes up. It's okay, but I'm not, this is not my wheelhouse. This is not my favorite product. I'm not a great fan of Dickel. Never have, probably never will be. And if you, 
have a single barrel of Dickel and it tastes like Dickel, congratulations. 99 euros, I'm not sure if that's the perfect price point. Um, I have mentioned the face on this uh, model from Stephen um, Gould is actually him. Uh, he was 16 years old. He worked as a stuntman in Colorado, and that's actually his photo on the bottle, which is kind of cool, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The 50%, nice, very well done. It gives a little bit of an oomph, a little bit of a kick there. But as I said, it just doesn't transition at all. It's just like mm, buttered popcorn. Um, and at the end, there's a little bit of a sweetness with popcorn. C, I'm sorry. A is why haven't you bought it? B, buy it. C, you can buy it if you want. D, don't need to. F, ooh, why was this even made? This is a solid C. Um, not my wheelhouse. That's my problem here. Going over to the Breckenridge here, single barrel number one. Oh, totally different. We've got some some oakiness. We've got some um, brown sugar. We have some mahogany in there. This is really an interesting whiskey, to be honest. Mm. Almost too much wood at that mo one moment there. Then it kicks back in and gets back into that, um, that, mm, nice, nice, oh yeah, very, very nice. Um, the, the wood transitions from the tannins into the sweetness. The brown sugars kick in. The nuttiness, a little bit of walnut, actually. Mmm, excellent, also finish, um, very, very nice. Highly recommendable. If you can ever get a single barrel number one here from Breckenridge, they say um, only one in a hundred or two hundred barrels actually make it into the single barrel program. So value for money, Stephen Gold's um, Tennessee Orphan Barrel or Cask, ninety nine dollars fifty percent, thirteen year old gunfighter. I'm gonna have to give this actually a D. I don't think it's worth the 99 euros. There's another company out there called Bib and Tucker. Um, did I say that right? Let's see here. And um, so yeah, Bib and Tucker, and they also, according to my nose and my palate, they also use the Dickel um, products, and they're a little bit cheaper. And the bottles, um, the design of that bottle is really, really kind of cool. Who knows? All right. Um, sorry, I would like to have said more and said better things about this whiskey. I look forward to one day maybe being in Colorado. Who knows? I might just drop by and say hi. Um, my question of the day is, what whiskey distilleries do you know of that are from Colorado? Breckenridge. Golden Moon Distillery. And I'm going to add one more Stranahan's. Which other distilleries have you actually had, do you know of, that are from Colorado? Please write it in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. If you need to contact me, Whiskey Jason, one word, at gmail.com. Otherwise, you can just um, comment down below. My videos come out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, usually. All the best to you. See you soon. Bye-bye.